Welcome to Concept 4, Introduction to Division. So today we're going to go through a few things to help you support your student as best as you can. We're going to do some standards, talk about the important vocabulary, and some important how-tos for you to know the, know the concepts the best to help your student. So the only standard that we're going to talk about for this concept is going to be the A2 standard, which says interpreting whole number quotients of whole numbers which means interpreting 56 divided by 8 as the number of objects in each share when 56 objects are partitioned equally into 8 shares or as a number of shares when 56 objects are partitioned into equal shares of 8 objects each. So it's a bit of a mouthful. So we're going to kind of break that down into how we decide the way somebody would divide in a situation. And we're going to talk about two strategies for doing that sharing, and repeated subtraction. So those are our two vocab words for this one. These are the two strategies that we're going to discuss in a, in a few minutes. Sharing is a strategy used in division when we have to find how many objects are in each group. And in order to share, you put one object at a time into each group until there's none left. That leaves you with an equal amount in each group. Repeated subtraction is the operation we use when we're taking away equal groups of objects from a total, meaning I have a set number of objects and I'm taking away groups of them at a time. I do this when I want to look for how many groups I have. And similar to repeated addition, the quantity you're taking away has to be the same in order to use repeated subtraction. So the example I give is 8 minus 2 equals 6, 6 minus 2 equals 4, 4 minus 2 equals 2, and 2 minus 2 equals 0. I had 8 at the beginning and I took away groups of 2 until I got to the point that I had none left. I had to do this four times before I got to 0, meaning that I have four groups of two objects in each group. So our how-tos today are going to be how to actually use these strategies in given situations. So let's begin with sharing. In division, we, sh we use sharing when we are unsure of how many objects belong in a group. Meaning I have a certain number of groups that I'm going to share with, I have the objects, but I just don't know how many to give to each group so that all the groups have an equal amount. So when we share, the strategy we practice is giving one to each group one at a time. So the example I have is six objects, I have three groups, how many objects are going to be in each group? So I'm going to put one counter in each group one at a time. So I put one in each, so each group is equal with one counter, and I still have three left, so I can do that process all over again. So I put one here, one here, and one here. You share until you have no objects left and they have all found a home inside of the groups. So now I can answer that question. How many objects are going to be in each group? I look at the groups and I see that there are two in each, so my answer is two. For repeated subtraction, we use it when we're unsure of how many groups to divide our total quantity between. So in this case, we're looking for the groups. We're given a total, and we're given how many objects will go in each of those groups. When you do repeated subtraction, you take away the amount of objects that will be in each group one set at a time. So the example we're going to look at is six objects I'm going to give them away in groups of two. How many groups am I going to have? So let's try it. So to do this the first time, I'm going to circle a group of two. So, so far I have one group, two groups, three groups. And I stop here because there are no more counters to put into groups. I can answer the question by counting up how many circles I put around groups of two and in this case, I have three groups. So thank you so much for being a great support unit to your child at home. It means a lot to the teachers and means a lot to your child. So please, as you move through, have fun and math on.